Stampers, Deb Valder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to bring you the cutest card ever. I did this in a class, I don't even know what class I did it in, but I just loved it. Um, this is with our new Under the Sea collection, and that is found in the Spring into Summer mini catalog of um, 2017. It is found on page 22, it's just a little ATS, and it's got a couple of little tiny... Um, the little tiny jellyfish to go along with it and the words say make a wish jellyfish all right so um that is the stamp set it's just a little ats i will show you some of the other stamps i've used in there i used my ink splat and i love this this is another ats but i literally have three of them because when i'm doing multiple colors they're seven dollars and 95 cents when i'm doing multiple colors on this um what i do is i just i don't i don't clean it off in between i just use each one of them has um, its own color so um i do like to have multiple Multiples of some things and that's one of them. I showed you the um, Jelly Wishes little ATS. I do have them in our containers because when I have extra things I love to um, store them in there. All right so these are our little pockets. That's our whole um, storage system and it's an amazing system. I do have a video on that so if you want to go watch that video to see about the whole storage system it's great. And then I also used our Journey Circles which are a staple in any stamping craft room. All right so this is the card that we're going to make. Let's bring in some uh, grid paper and let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take my card base and let's just grab that right here. Okay, those, that's my card base. I'm going to take my ink splat and use my oatmeal cookie and just stamp it up two times onto my cardstock. So here's just one and All right, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Because you know me, I love to make more than one card at a time, especially if they're card, uh, class cards, because I always cut one extra for myself. And you notice I'm not even paying any attention to where it's going because um, it doesn't need to have any right or wrong spot to be in. All right, so that's our oatmeal cookie splat. So we can get that little guy out of the way. And then we're going to take and we're going to start layering. So I will start with my little journey circle. And I did use the perforations on this one, okay? So um, we're going to pop that up. So we're going to take these two, add our little foam squares. I love the size of these foam squares. They are um, very versatile. So these are the mediums. We have mediums and smalls. There is no large, but we have mediums and smalls. And um, they just, they go so much, that you, you get more for your money. And they go such a long way because of the different sizes. Now this is going to be a very, very, very um, dimensional card. So we're going to use a lot of um, foam squares. When in doubt, as Richard would say, pop it out. All right, so we're always popping things out because, oops, wait a minute, I gotta do one more thing. We need our journey twine. So this one is actually our, th no, this one is the twine, okay? And I'm just gonna take and wrap it around my fingers like that and use my nonstick self-sharpening shears and add that to the back end of this onto that little foam thing right there, all right? And that's gonna go right on there now. Oops but it should be in the middle of it. Um, yeah, there we go. Alrighty, so there's that one. And then I'll do the same thing to this one. That's how easy this is. Just wrap it around three fingers, then two fingers, and cut it up. All right, And add it to your piece. And you can actually maneuver it once it's on that little foam square by just pulling it. You see, now they're not totally... It gives such dimension to the cards. All right, so there's that. And then we're gonna take and add this to our card base. All right, so let's add some of our, now I will put a foam square in the middle because this is a larger layer and I don't want it to sink in by the time it goes through the mail. All right, so I'm just gonna add this to one too. You see how fast this is? I could do two cards at one time showing you on camera and still have it under, um, I don't know, whatever time, you know. So just add that to your card base. Love the white on white. Cool pool and uh, having 
um, oops, there's a card, another card base there. Um, having the cool pool and um, the oatmeal cookie together, I just think that's very striking. All right, so there's those two. All right, and now we're gonna we're gonna take and um, we're gonna take and do our little jellyfish. So let's let's move these out of the way. I like to keep that in there to show you. Let's move that out of the way, and I'm just gonna grab some of my scrap paper. Uh, I think this is jellyfish size. Okay, scrap paper. And we're going to do the rock and roll method. So this is my jellyfish. I'm going to ink him up with the cool pool. All right. And then I'm going to take my blue lagoon and I'm going to take one of my two daubers. Now I'm going to use the little one because the little one is um, more, more suited to this size of, an, of a, a card. So what I do is on the bottom I add my little um, foams that are part of these little dauber dowels right here. All right, so I'm just gonna add that. So I put, I have foam on, on the bottom of every single one of my ink pads, and that way there I know this color is, it goes along with this color right here. So I'm just gonna ink that up a little bit, just brush it off a little bit, and then I'm just gonna take and dauber this little guy around the edges and this is called rocking and rolling. I could have done it right with my stamp pad, but it's much easier to do it with these daubers. All right. So, I don't want to do too much. I just want a little bit of color. All right. I can't help it. I just love doing this. All righty. So that is my uh and then what I do is just take this off and put it on the back of my these are just Velcros. You buy them, you throw one half of it away because you don't need it because it's on this, but then the other half just sticks to the bottom of your um, container. So that's all there is to that. Now I'm going to take and stamp this, not on that scrap piece of paper. Let's see if it'll fit on this one. Absolutely. All right. And you see how it's got the different colors to it? Isn't that so pretty? And that's all done with the, um, the little daubers. We have the new dauber dowels. They're really awesome. All right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to cut this out. I pre-cut one of, one, one of them just a little bit. Now, when you get to these parts right here, um, I want to take and show you how to do that with our new punch. This is our slot punch right here, and um, we used to use it. I'll just put, put it on. Well, I can put it right on here. Um, it, we used to use it for bows, and I still do, but um, it's also a good starter for this. So it has multi-purposes, and um, it's just an easy way to get into the inside of these. And then you just take your, um, your shears and cut around the inside. It's just a good starter for these, and... Um, it helps a lot. All right. Now, the rock and roll method, you can take, like I said, you can take either your daubers, which is the easiest way to do it because it's more controlling. And um, you're just going to take your daubers and um, go around the outside. But if you don't have those, you can take your ink pad and just kind of slice on the, um, on the side with your ink pad also. All right. Let me just grab this one. And then we have, now you don't even have to cut this out if you don't want to, but I love fussy cutting. I do. I really honestly do. I love to fussy cut. When I used to sew, I used to love to do hand stitching also, like the hems and, you know, just things that needed to be hand sewn. I don't know what it is. It might, might, must be the craft in me, um, but I just love to do that also. So again, what are we going to do? We're going to put one journey. Oh yeah, I use, I use scrap paper on here, people, because I always do. Um, so I'm going to get one of my medium ones because that's going to do the whole job instead of putting 20 on there. All right. So if you ever get a card from me, it's going to be like one of those famous paintings where they painted over a painting. You have no idea what is on the back because I reuse everything. So I'm going to grab one of my card bases right here and add my jellyfish to that. Just like that. I probably should have put my words on first, so let's take that off real quick. And um, I probably should have added my words before I, I glued it down, but there's not a problem because we're going to make this work. All right, so I'm going to take the cool pool. And, oh, and you know what? No, I know why I didn't do that, because I'm going to make this a baby card, believe it or not. I think that having a baby card would be absolutely adorable made out of this set. So um, now I lost my jellyfish. There he is. Okay, so he swam away. All right, so that's going to go on there like that. 
and then we need to do our little um, our little guys right here. So what I'm going to do is grab some scrap paper, and I like to take and put. Um, I think that's good. Now let me do it on the top of this one because then I will be done with this one. All right, because let me see. All right, so we're going to take this, and then we're going to take. Hang on, the hazelnut. All right, and this just saves time when you actually put more than one stamp on there. Call me crazy, I know. All right, so that's hazelnut. We wanted it to be a little bit darker than the oatmeal cookie because we are going to color in with the oatmeal cookie. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and just cut these out. It's going to be painless and effortless. Actually, let's do these because they're already colored. And now, if you didn't want to cut out his little tentacles right here, whatever they're called, these little these little hangy things on a jellyfish, you could actually stamp it down on your paper first, and then just cut out the top piece, and you have another layer look. Okay, that's another way to uh, to do it. Um, let me just see. Actually, I think we can do that. Let me just show you. Um, taking a chance here. Let's take all of these off. I just want to show you what I mean by that because this is a faster way to stamp it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hazelnut and grab, I think I'll add him right here because this is going to be my baby card. All right, And then I'll add another one over here because she had twins. All right, so there's those two. Now what I'm going to do is to take this jellyfish, all right, and all I have to do, instead of cutting out those little tentacles, all I have to do is to cut out this little piece right here, and when I add him with a little journey foam square, he's still going to have his tentacles, they're just going to be inside, like they really should be, so it gives you even more of a 3D look. So again, this is where the different sizes of our pop-up pop dots, our little journey foam squares, really come in handy, because it fits this perfectly. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this right here, lining up my little tentacles to the little tentacles. And isn't that cute? And you didn't have to cut out all those little squiggly things. So let me just add this one right here. There we go. And let me do, you know what, let me do something first. Let me, let me color these first because, um, I don't want to have to color them after I cut them out because I might have to actually touch them. Ew. Okay, so here's this. I'm going to grab one of my brushes. Uh, I want the little tiny. No, I'll take the medium one. All right, it's good to have a set of these, a small, medium, and a large. And I actually have a small, medium, and large in the, um, I have it in the, uh, um, watercolor, and I have one in the um, Blender Fusion. Okay. There we go. So that's going to be the second one. And I also need this one. And I'm just coloring them just really lightly and not all the way perfect because it just looks prettier, I think, if you don't just, you know, color it all in. There's some white showing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Isn't this cute? All right, so there's our, our three pieces. Let's cut this little guy out because he's going to go on top of that one. And again, so you don't have to cut out all those little tentacles. We're just cutting out the top part of it right here. Grab one of my little journey foam squares, little tiny ones. All right, stick that right in the middle there. And so she had twins. This is going to be her little card. I think it's adorable. Somebody thought I was nuts when I told them I was going to use it for a baby card. But look at them. Aren't they cute swimming to mama? All right. Okay, then, so now we're going to take and put little journey foam squares on these little guys too. Because they're the perfect size for these. And we're going to add those to our card. And we're almost done. All right, so I'm going to take and put this one maybe right over here. And this one, 
How about right there? So I did it a little bit different. You can see the difference between the two of them. I got so much stuff out here. Um, you can see the difference between the two of them, but I'm not done yet. I have one more thing and I actually two more things. I always wait to the end to do this so that it doesn't get, um, so I can just let it set and dry. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to take, okay, so this is the bomb. This is our brand new sparkle silk. And before you shake it up, it looks like there's water on the top and just a whole bunch of glitter on the bottom. But when you shake it up and give it such awesome, awesome looks, look at that stuff just sparkling around. Now, this is just like our other sparkles. It has a great little, um, a little brush on it. Um, and you can take and you can splat it. You can color with it. You can do just anything with it that you can do with any of our other sparkle silks. But I, and you know I have a video on this, okay? I added a little um, sparkle tape down here at the bottom to, to, to show you that this one was different than any of the other ones. And what I did was literally just pour some of this in here. Do not add water. Do not add anything to it. Just pour your sparkle silk into this. And then you have this brush that you can get into very tiny details. So on this one right here, I didn't need the intricate little brush, but look at how well this works. All I have to do, and I'm going to tell you, once you do this, you will glitter, glitter everything, absolutely everything, because it's so much fun to put a little bit of um, color on everything. Isn't this pretty? All right, so there's that. This is Sparkle Silk. It's a new product from Fun Stamper's Journey, and it is to die for. And like I said, if you don't want to use it, and you get so much more for your money because this is um, a huge bottle compared to just that wand, you know? All right, so that's our blending brush, and I used the small one on that. Now, my last thing is to take my um, Journey Glaze, and I'm going to just slather this whole thing. I don't want you scraping it back and forth. I want you to literally slather it on a nice big chunk all the way on here, all the way to the edges, all the way around. Not his legs. We're not going to do his legs. We just want to do a little bit of, of chunkiness on the top like that. All right. So that there's no bubbles. Don't ever shake this. Okay. There's no bubbles. There's no anything. Now you want to take and you want to just kind of pound it down at the bottom and that gets everything that's in this little container all the way to the bottom put the top on and you should be ready to go without having to stick a pin in it um, anytime that you need to we also sell replacement tops for these which was the smartest thing in the world to do because if you do get a clog then you just take and put a new top on one that you can't get undone now I'm going to pretend I'm the chef on the chew and what they do with their salt is they take just a little pinch and they just add it to their piece and that's exactly what I'm doing it makes so much less mess than pouring it on and pouring it off and you want to make sure that this piece stays flat because this stuff is runny and remember how thick we put it on there you can put as much as little or as much or as little of that on as you want um, I just love the chunky glitter this is not our regular uh, glitter this is um, our sparkle cuts and they are bigger cuts than our um, our sparkle uh, glitter all right so um, this is my card for today isn't it the stinking as cutest thing ever and these are the two little babies swimming to the mama and these are their little friends um, did I just say all that? Anyway, it is cute. It is a very cute card. And um, I hope you enjoyed my post. I hope you really look at this collection in that mini catalog because it is adorable. All of the things that are in there, I've done quite a few pieces with it. I think you saw my video, um, or I hope you saw my video on the um, Aubrey um, look with the daubers. So this was all done with the daubers. Make sure you check out this video, and that's the card that it came out to be. Um, beautiful card, beautiful stamp set in there. Love the daubers. They work well with our inks and and our pan pastels. So if you have any questions, you let me know. Take care and have a great day.